Have you found yourself overwhelmingly stressed? Maybe it's the worry of the health of a loved one. Maybe it's the loss of job or income. Maybe it's you're navigating how to be a homeschooling parent when you've never done it before. Maybe it just seems like the whole world is falling apart and you don't know what to do. Well, when you tune in today, we're gonna to talk about some easy things that you can implement into your life to help you navigate these rough times. Hey, Drew here. Are you stressing out because of some of the stuff or maybe all of the stuff that I mentioned? Well, if so, you may be experiencing catastrophic thinking. Catastrophic thoughts are not going to help you in this situation and that they're probably going to bring about more stress. What is catastrophic thinking? Catastrophic thinking is irrational worst case scenario thoughts that lead to elevated levels of anxiety. Oftentimes when we find ourselves in catastrophic thinking, we're playing what if scenarios in our head that are unrealistic. And I want to give you some tips today that will help you navigate this season of uncertainty. But before we do that, why should we care about catastrophic thinking? It's important that we recognize catastrophic thinking because of this. When we start to think and catastrophize and we go over the top, what happens is we initiate our fight, flight, or freeze response to the situation. When we do that, we turn off the critical and the creative thinking that could help us out of the actual situation that we're facing. Even though it may seem like our emotion and our anxiety is out of our control, there are strategies that we can use to help us effectively navigate the situation. Barbara Friedrichsen developed a research-based model and theory to help navigate people through these types of stressful times. And it's by relying on our positive emotions. These are the three steps that Barbara had that we should use if we're going through a rough season and we feel like it's too overwhelming. Step one, we must recognize that catastrophic thoughts are only gonna to lead to more anxiety and more stress, and they're not gonna help us get to a solution to the situation that we find ourselves in. The second step that Barbara outlines is recognizing that you won't be at your best when you are allowing catastrophic thoughts to have control, and instead to have a plan of using positive emotions to get you back on track. So we need to have a plan B. We need to have a plan in place that will help us get out of the catastrophic thinking. So maybe it's calling a loved one that you know always brings hope and joy into your life and, and makes you happy. Maybe it's watching a movie that's funny. Maybe it's listening to music that lifts your soul up. Maybe it's spending some time in prayer or meditation. What you're looking for is something that brings feelings of hope and of joy so that way it can help balance out some of those anxious thoughts that you're feeling. And this is the third step, to think creatively and clearly for a solution. Now it's easier said than done, but what you've done by bringing those positive emotions into the situation is you're no longer in that fight, flight, or freeze situation that you're in earlier. You now have the ability to think clearly and creatively and to come up with a solution. Now you may find that you need to use this multiple times, and that's okay. I know I've found in my own life that I was catastrophizing, and then I use positive emotions to come out of the situation, and then something else pops up that puts me back into that situation again where I'm in that fight, flight, or freeze mode. Hopefully, this will help you navigate this tough season that we're all finding ourselves in. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, and share this with people. Uh, make sure to subscribe as well and comment below and let me know how maybe I could be praying for you or if you have any questions. Anyways, thanks for tuning in and God bless, bye.